Hey, what's good, guys? Welcome back to the challenge. Your boy Zen, and we are back at it again, bro. And look, this one kind of caught me off guard, so we hopping in cold turkey. You know what I mean? Hey, um, yes, I've totally spaced and I forgot that um, Tokyo Game Show was going to show Scarlet for his gameplay. So I'm hopping in, bro, with a midstream. So we finna start from the beginning and get to it. You know what I mean? So without further ado, let's do it, baby. Hey, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, here we are. Oh, so we are. Oh, no, I was going to say, it looks like we're starting off uh, in a, a familiar location here in the Windward Plains, but obviously a few more like icons and notifications compared to what um, we've seen so far in the event preview build. Yeah, and also the time of day is very different. We've mostly seen um, that those current previews during the daytime. So you're actually seeing um, it's kind of like, like uh, sunrise in Central, so right before dawn. It's so good. Okay. I think they say that this uh, showing oh, wow. like the colors or something the stars in the sky. Like fully optimized, so it's pretty why it looks a little washed out. Yes, we did promise Starlink for his <laughs> gameplay, so we're going to get there. We're going to get there. I uh, don't worry. This, this is but the appetizer and more windward clean goodness from what yeah, we're used to by the looks of it. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I think we should also say that um, this build is running on PlayStation 5 uh, and it is work in progress in some development. So I think you see there may be some work in progress elements. Or, uh, things like yeah, they did say that so, earlier. So yeah, exactly. people are like, kind of afraid about the requirements so for the PC. Build. But Obviously, but the game is coming out. We still six months out. Time for you now and then. Um, but hey, we have our first look in the flash. Uh, oh, the yeah, I'm killing the heck out of that thing. This is Kim Hematrix. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's the fair pronunciation. It's probably what I would go for. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like a... Uh, yeah, I'm going for a Rick on him. Like, like, yeah, is it, uh, is it like a cassowai or something? I saw a video recently of like this really dangerous bird. Uh, and it reminded me of that one. It's like a big chicken mix with like a, a killer ostrich yeah, or like something. A, <laughs> I'm gonna learn long short off him, man. I'm gonna learn all the new yeah. moves off that yeah. monster. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be Kentucky like, Fried Chicken, oh, baby. Wow. Wait, the sun just rose like that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so something interesting about this monster is that it is a carrion eater, so it mostly eats like monster carcasses or like creature carcasses. Um, they don't actually like do that much hunting on their own, um, but because of that, it does kind of like, come into contact with some other monsters. I think we're about to see one of them right now. Yes, yes. Um, here we have the Talio. Um, you might have seen them uh, dunking on poor Chattacabra in some of our trailers recently. Um, but yeah, they will go they will go for large monsters uh, when they're in a group. They are not afraid. As you can see here, <laughs> you need to get a knockdown. They're just, they're just going for it. Going for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Playing, Ebony Life is that's kind of cool that they can, like, small monsters can have a knockdown. Like. Yeah, before, small monsters very much were kind of like fodder for, for the large monsters, but it seems in certain, certain times and occasions, the small monsters will bite back with a vengeance and uh, aid you or hinder you in the hunt. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, man. Uh, Epidemic, like, all the games, man. Oh, I was going to say, I know Stray mentioned this is on PS5. Yes. Uh, looks like we uh, were hopping over to what we promised, which is the Scarlet Forest, but, you know, we have said multiple times that the, this is a seamless experience, seamless monster hunter. Um, so, transitioning to locations is not done through loading screens or anything, is that right? No, absolutely right. Um, as we said, seamless is the key word, and it's really kind of cool to be able to show you all exactly how transitioning between locales works. And it's literally, guys, you travel between it. You there's not a loading screen you know you don't have to go back so to, to camp and then go you literally hop on your sacred and get running yeah. and um we should also note that um you can't just like go to every location you know they are connected right away um it does, some of them are uh, they do become accessible through the actual progression story and the gameplay so um that's how kind of you access the, the different locales Oh, yeah, exactly. 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 here we are. We have now just arrived straight into the Scarlet Forest in yeah, a fallow period um, as well. And there we have uh, Lalabarina. Yeah. Said hello to Lalabarina, but I guess we're moving on. 
Oh, <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> yeah, let's see you later. Oh. And, uh, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, this is a big one. I believe. Um, small Leviathan. So, kind of interesting. You can have like these really, really small Leviathans. They swim. This attacks. forest looks really they, good. Um, they basically attack creatures that are already wounded. So oh. that includes that includes like monsters that are hurting, but also yourself. Like if you're low on health, they'll go for you. Oh my goodness, that is a nice mechanic. So when you're nice and healthy, it's okay. But if you're feeling it, they'll know. Yep, yep. Oh, here we go. We're right. Oh, we'll go for a labyrinth. Let's go. Oh, there it is. Look how it moves. Wow. It, it like you know, due to its name, right? It's got like this. Oh, I thought it was bigger. And, like, it, the movements are crisp. Like, they're really like uh, yo for real. Dances around. Me. Oh my god, fighting yeah, with Lone Sword is going to be so fun. Period. So that might be why, you know, it looks a bit misty or foggy in this area. And we've got the red water as well. Yeah, it's called the Sorrel Force for a reason, right? Yeah, exactly. So we've got these, like, yeah. booty flakes. I don't like, you know, really describe them, but... Uh, do you want to talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so this is part of uh, Lalabrina's kind of combat mechanics. And as you can see, Togodistan is demonstrating that they can actually cause paralysis after you come into contact with multiple wizards a short period of time. Um, so leaving you very, very vulnerable to a follow-up attack. Mm, that's going to be annoying. But yeah, fine. I, I believe that if you, if you get hit by one, you won't get like that. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. yeah but if Two or you, three? Multiple, yeah. <laughs> Cooked. <laughs> yeah, there's like two for the base one there. Yeah, she's gonna be so fun. Okay, it was a slinger there. Oh, looks like. Okay, I believe this is a luring pod. Yeah. Based Where are we going? Team. Where are we going? I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> the team's got something planned here. Let's, let's see. What's Kudistan cooking? <laughs> And like I said, you you got to hunt with him, so put put us in the mindset of Kudasan. What do you, what do you think he's thinking right now? Kudasan is always looking for cool things to show the community, things that we might not know yet, things that we might not have spotted so far. Um, so yeah, I, he's definitely cooking something for us. Looks like uh, he wants to show us some turf war here. Oh, <laughs> oh, just bouncing over there. <laughs> And I, we should say, you know, that this this game is pretty open ended, right? Um, this is not like a scripted scenario that we're doing. The team has like had a lot of. Oh, 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 like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I could get you if I wanted to, but I was savage. God, dog. So I'll come back to you later. Whoa, I was beating the stuff in that Dasha Goma. A little bit of mounted combat here. You just chose a punch, bag. That's it. Let us know how our mic volumes are as well, if it's okay for everyone. Sounds like my audio might come in a little hot. Far too loud. Okay. Is that both of us or just one of us? Thank you, though. We appreciate that. Man, those guys are so Pushing out the booty flakes. It's like uh, Lala Marine is a bit agitated following the Dosh and Storm encounter. Both were a little bit loud. First time, I mean, hope it's better than being too quiet, I suppose. Could we turn the game volume up a little bit? Just a smidge. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, did he, did he did just switch his <laughs> gray sword on the ground? To like Bogum? We got Saudi on. Try to sort that out. Thanks, everybody. 
まあ、こうやってあのガンナーとか、まあ、球打てるやつはこうやってサポートして、はいまあ、マルチプレイでも結構協力がいろんな形で協力できるで、ね。<笑> So, interestingly, the, the dev team just, uh, said that Lala Farina's uh, paralyzation or paralyzed finger can physically be destroyed. So, you know, if you're playing in multiplayer or you're getting your position down really well, you can actually kind of limit Lala Farina's defensive capabilities. But obviously, by the looks of it, it's probably very dangerous there. Dude, Lala Farina looks like fun. <laughs> Bow's gonna be so good for her. Oh my god. A hundred percent Bow's gonna like rock. So you wanna wait until it gets really angry before you give that go to the I feel like the one's gonna struggle the most is probably dual blades, maybe. Well, it has that jump up move now, so I don't know. Being able to hit up. Is great, especially because he's so he high does, up. That's one of our downsides <laughs> trying to reach higher. Oh, yeah, for sure. As yeah. a big yeah. Oh. Yeah, it looks like the team's trying to show that off a little bit. He's the heel. Yeah, John, like, he's playing quite a bit now. Um, how do you feel about, like, when you land those focus strikes, it's pretty satisfying. Yeah, the endorphins get flowing. Uh, absolutely. They feel really meaty and impactful for the hunt. And you can do some really stylish things with it as well. See, weak spot. Yeah. Hit it. Yeah, I mean, you just have to. Right? Yeah, this forest. You thought ancient yeah. forest is bad. I'm going to get lost Sorry, in this hole. It's awesome. Uh, <laughs> kind of folks as well commenting on how big the map is. Wow, you know, there's a lot to explore here, a lot to discover, and this is still just the fallow period. And, oh, it's looking a bit, looking a bit lala here. Oh. 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 My audio is coming through a bit better, but let us know. John, where, where are we at now? So we are in lala barina's um, and as we've seen from the trailer, lala barina gets interesting treatment, and uh, in like oh. much like you know Ray Dow, for those that have kind of been seen there, the monsters in their home turf, so they might they might not be as weak as you think uh, <laughs> when they're uh, retreating back to their nest. Yeah, I'm gonna dig being able to grab some, so I can be lazy. I need one of these for the remote. You know, it's all about like the design of this, right? Like we said, all the arena is the show is on. <laughs> we're taking part in it. All the arena's world, and we're just living in it. She decided not to come. All right, so it looks like we're transferring over to another section of the Scarlet Forest. Yeah, tell us, tell us what you're thinking so far. Yeah, yeah we're loving it. Love it. Look at that. That young cuckoo. I'm so jealous. I may have to get that. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I think there's a detail about the bone piles that we made. Yeah, yeah, so interesting fact with the bone piles is there are bone piles on the, uh, the locales, but when you take out large monsters, small monsters, their bodies will decompose over time, and they can leave bone piles once they're fully decomposed for you to go and get them from, uh, which is all part of the living very jealous of their uh, their you are seeing kind of like the intro menu here. Uh, the, the details on screen, like the HR, uh, Hunter Ray, uh, the amount of hours played, uh, those are specifically just for this build of the game. So um, don't like, you know, think of anything like how that's really the main game. Um, this is, yeah, this is Purely for reference, because, you know, this is like a special build. Uh, 
So no need to extrapolate. <laughs> like, oh, this, this HR, this locale, yeah. la la la. <laughs> yeah, it must be when you play 50 hours of the game. And then you're yeah. Like, oh, oh no, look at that. Is that, is that a sword and shield, I see? Oh, oh very cool. Oh, that sword and shield looks <laughs> good. The first time that we've shown the camp area. That sword and shield looks good. That's good design. I wonder how long swords is gonna look. There's, there's our secret. Um, wow, there's something different about this one, right? There is. They're looking, they're looking very sharp, aren't they? Um, it looks like they've kind of done a. Uh, Sacred customization. Let's go. Color matching on the outfit, you know, fashion game and all that. <laughs> I love uh, it, yeah. Uh, so you uh, will uh, be able to customize your sacred Let's go. as the story progresses. Let's go. You'll be able to customize your color. Pimp my uh, rod. Pimp my sacred. Share more detail, but yeah. Uh, we've got a lot of questions about that. I know people love to like express themselves with their mouth and armor and everything. Here you go. And uh, we're, we're back here, and obviously we're kind of in the downpour series now. Um, so the water level is rising. It's a lot stormy. And who's this? Who's this? Yeah, this, this is, is what I want to see. Earlier. This is Uthuna. This is the apex Uthuna. of the forest. And it, it tends to appear more during the downpour again. That's that region's Inkumasi. Water levels are pretty much flooded at this point. So it is in its own. Sure. Exactly. Um, so there's obviously the scene for the social post around Uthuna. It uses its bail to generate water current. Attacks. So it's not only going to attack you physically, but it's going to use against you <laughs> so uh and as you can see moving in deep water is already a bit more restrictive oh that's so cool yeah, oh, those so tails, the water, oh, 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 um, these veils, they protect it. It's, it's kind of like using its own like, body substance and water to defend itself, but if you actually do, uh, do enough damage to those veils, uh, they can be broken. It'll actually make that's what we're trying to do right now, yeah. Oh, he's going to be annoying. It's great to get a visual indicator as well, so you can know which area. He's basically an image on 2.0. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, fight him because like I feel like I'm not gonna like him. A little bit of a strategy here, right? Like, yes, you are doing less damage, but I'm so much. Run, yeah, you fucked this up. <laughs> Insect oh, glaive oh, matchup for this is gonna be good. The waves, but, <laughs> like when you go swimming and you start <laughs> pushing <laughs> the way like water at your friends, but a dude is doing it to uh, take you out. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a glaive run right here. Yeah, so that's why that damage number is blue. It's the veil protection. Yeah. This is where you want Insect Lay for him. A part of the veil is. Ooh, there we go. Things are clearing up now. Look at all that color. Yeah, wow. Not only just in the environment, but on the theater as well. Oh, their color looks so good. So here we are, we're in the plenty now. It almost gives like a slightly tropical vibe. Almost. Yeah, it's so, bright. so vibrant. It's such a contrast to a lot of the things that we've seen so far. Um, you know, the, the Woodward Plains and the plenty has a lot of bright colors. But it's got a forest color. This locale is lit. I love it. Really nice this, uh, Such a different environment. Such a different. Like, it's not as gloomy. It's like creepy. Not a breed is like right. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little stroll. Literally, she like I say. You got my cousin on. Like See there, like Bob. Big old Venus flytrap. Oh yeah. Oh. oh no. No, 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 probably not. The oh, oh, right. oh, no. <laughs> wow, so this is a living, breathing world. Um, yeah. <laughs> and as part of that, there that looks. <laughs> things want to have their lunch, I suppose. Yeah. Watch a little nature documentary right there. <laughs> uh, 
extra special move. But if you do, you can take it for yourself and use it in your uh, cooking <laughs> to get some buffs. Yeah, that's actually, it'll be one of your finishing touches for your meal. So if you do like a little salt. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, and it's great to see what ingredients you put in your food reflected in the cooking as well. So yeah, that's an interesting way to get food materials. So either you get a nice buff or Kongala does, and you've seen what Kongala does. <laughs> It's a space you feel fresh. It's so refreshing, this, this area. We're going fishing. Gotta be. I was going to say, the guy Gris reveal? Huh? Just like Ryoza San did at Gamescom. <laughs> There's no way he's not in here. There's no way. Bro, can you imagine the guy Gris? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, you can pet the palico. <laughs> so apparently during the plenty period, morning and sunset is when the fish tend to gather the most. So for any of you keen fisher folk out there, good time to get the rod out. Hey, Rio's the is one of those, right? Yeah. Oh, any excuse for some fishing, it's never a bad time, even when there's monsters <laughs> afoot. <laughs> and it looks like there's three ways to reel as well. So, you know, there's some depth to this. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, and as you'd expect, it seems like the larger the fish is, the more challenging it is to catch. Oh, that's fine, bro. And an interesting fact about the fishing you've seen here, so Tokuda san himself uh, is an enjoyer of fishing, but there's another dev member on the team that's a big fan as well, and they actually came together and kind of nerded out over fishing to kind of create this kind of mini game and kind of mechanic for the fishing. Man, I love like when the devs like put their real like real life passions into Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If it's that hard <laughs> to get a fish, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> getting wet fish, <laughs> cooked, done. <laughs> After five, I'm, I'm, I'm kaput, I'm tired. <laughs> Them. And also, there are also locale specific fishes. So, for those of you that really want to get stuck in, you can go on your own little fishing adventure uh, to catch catch the. Well, it looks like we've got our, our newly introduced woodwood friends here. So, this is this one of their the little billets. <laughs> <Little bear bear. laughs> hey, these little woodwoods, bro. This is the wood wood they just look like they about to smoke. They're a big fan of fish as well, judging by what they do. It's so cool, like seeing like the specific you know, inhabitants of each of them. It's very unique. Uh, it looks like this, like, basically the civilization of Woodwoods. They use these ancient ruins that are here. They kind of collect the different items and the things, the things around them. And, uh, and they wear them. You can see them. They make themselves right at home. They have. They're looking very comfy, very cozy. And um, apparently as well, uh, if you're close to them, as you mentioned, you know, they like to collect things from the environment, you can actually exchange items with them as well. Ooh, so you can okay. directly. Yeah, it sounds like the woodwoods don't just stick to this location too. You can see the 
Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like little secret hideouts for them too. It's worth going over and saying hi, unless you got like a Lala Marina chasing you. <laughs> Oh, oh wow, now we're going into night time oh, here as well. Nice. Time shifting. That's so much. The look of the game. The atmosphere. Hey, look! The woodwoods have come up. So, like, like, so, you know, the the kind of locations where like NPCs gather isn't that. As time progresses, they'll be going about their day, doing different activities, and it looks like they've come up to enjoy the view. So just like well, specifically the Woodwoods during uh, a plenty period, during the night, they will come up for a nice fight. <laughs> so, yeah, they did a good job on this game, bro. This is going to be, it's going to be the game of the year. And so, in, in the actual game, when you do enter the Strong Force, this area is actually a super obvious place. So, uh, yeah. maybe uh, you'll have to find this on your own for yourself. Exactly. Use, use this as reference. I like how the little hats are, you know what I mean? <laughs> little silly hat. And to say, the team actually looking for shooting stars as well, which is kind of here, but not today. Not today. Makes it a little bit more special if you don't see it all the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Ooh, we got that fire cooking, huh? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> nice. An interesting fact about that campfire, you can actually give stuff to the Woodwoods uh, to cook for you, and they can do what is kind of very similar to what was the Motley Mix in I'm telling you. Yeah, looks like we're wrapping up here. I think uh, on our side, we'll get ready to close things out. Yeah, so yeah, we've, we've, that's the gameplay. The team are just talking through the release date, which is obviously February 28th. 2025, that's very cool, Joe, isn't it? I'm so excited. Counting down the days, for sure. For sure. What a demo, though. And it, honestly, it's also me and Joe have been watching chat on Twitch and YouTube. Your excitement, your hype for the reactions and the reveals and things just fired has been incredible. So shout out to the community because it's either very, very early where you are probably or quite late. So thank you for coming out and, and coming to the watch party with us. Yeah, it is late out here, bro. But we do anything for Monster now. 20 to 6 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's quite late for early. But, you know, we wouldn't do this type of screen if we didn't feel like this was uh, yeah and honestly huge shout to the, the team obviously you know you got uh i've got to stand ryoko stand and fujiyoka stand there who have been showing us this gameplay live like they're doing it live on stage at tgs which is like super exciting um yeah, i think they're about done and obviously yeah they're just yapping <laughs> Yeah, they were just yapping. All right, bro. Anyway, guys, yo, tell me what you guys are thinking, bro. That's a lot of information. My mind is kind of blown, bro. I'm re I was really hyped up about, about the La Barina and the Ganjalak, uh, Ganjalaka fight, bro. The Ganjalaka fight is going to be funny. I just can't wait to see people get farted on. That's all I want to see. I don't care about nothing else. I just want to see people get literally farted on. That's it. Nothing. Shit it on. <laughs> I love it, bro. This, that's crazy that he's in the game, bro. And, like, he looks so good. And it makes me, like, so excited for, like, all the older monsters that are coming back. You know what I mean? That gets that that rework. You know what I mean? Like, all the other ones did. Oh, my God, bro. Yes, that's a glow up for Kanja. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And Labyrinth looking kind of like a, a, a fun little fight, bro. Yeah, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice, man. 
But anyway, man, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. How you like the fight? What do you think about the uh, Scarlet Forest? Hey, man, and I want to hear what you think. Where we going? How you feeling? How hype are you, bro? <laughs> but anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, stay tuned.